of the Call meeting to order. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Was that the microphone that we was using? I believe so. Yeah, I don't even know what. This is disconnected. So. Okay. So here's a plug in cord. I think that's for the old system. We need to make a note to have Joe come up here next week to get, get somebody it. to make us a piece of this. Oh, so, we can't put that piece of glass. Was it eight hundred bucks or something? Yeah, that there's got to be a, there's got to be something. Well, it's, uh, Wes had mentioned that getting another cross piece of like this would fill it up the parts. somewhat. Yeah. Sorry about that. Evidently, I tapped something, but I don't even know what. I, I didn't push anything. Where all? I don't know where this stuff all comes from. Come out here. Something else fall. I think it was a pen holder, but we'll get it after the meeting. Okay. Anybody has a public comment? Uh, did everybody have a chance to see the minutes from last? I believe Commissioner Paul, you had. I had one suggestion under new business that said where we old business, mm -hmm. new business before the board, uh, where we agreed to pay forty three hundred four dollars twenty five cents for having an engineer draw up the specs to get the dirt work around the bridges. And here it makes it sound more like maybe it was to pay for dirt work. That's the way I took it. The forty-three hundred and four dollars and twenty-five cents. Yes. That was the check that Mar Chambers presented You're to in the board. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so in the wrong I think spot. it's old business. I'm in the wrong spot. Okay. You're under old business. Uh, it said that the with two proposals on the earthwork, mm -hmm. backfilling and final grading. Yes, yes. It right. should be for engineering, uh, final grading. Uh, like I'm saying, it's an engineer's plan, or uh, because it wasn't actual backfilling and grading on that plan. It was it was just the engineering for it. Okay. Any other additions or corrections? That's all I've seen. With that, do I hear a motion to accept the board for the minutes? Is it right? I second. It's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Pass the result. Commissioner comments and committee reports. Jack, did you? I have a couple of news that was at this last week. Uh, one was the EDAG, the Economic Development Advisory Group. Um, they talked about uh, Highland Community College Tech Center, their diesel technology program, which they're capped at about 45 students. I guess there's capacity, there's, there's more demand than we've we got. I think there was just some discussion how you could come up with space or how you could fund something. I think that's going to come up as a situation later. Talk about the e-community, and there's two things about the e-community. E-community is trying to propose to have small businesses have the ability to uh, finance uh, their businesses. Uh, it's for people in the Atchison area, including the cat, the, the uh, outliers of Atchison. They've made about 11 loans. How it works is the bank pays 40%, and then this e-loan comes from Department of Commerce, 60%. But the loan is at 1.5%. And one of the things that struck me is that someone who is a farming business, they wanted to make a, something to make their business stronger, a piece of equipment or maybe some storage capacity, they would be eligible for those types of loans. So uh, I would I would have encourage people to talk to Justin. Justin seems to be the expert at it. Um, and they're, they're in a situation where they have a fiscal year. They used to be from January to December, but they're changing it now from July through, or June through, the, the next the following June. 
So they have to. They have a lot of money they can loan right now. Mm. They have to move quickly, and they're kind of looking for people to borrow money. Um, like I said, 1.5 percent is uh, a, a pretty big thing, and most of the people who have taken advantage of it so far have actually heard about it from somebody on the committee. That had, you know, we talk about it, but getting those words out. So if anybody knows a, a business in one of the communities outside the Atchison or a business in the city or, you know, farming is a business. Mm -hmm. I think you'd have to be at least incorporated as an LLC, which probably most farmers are in some way or other. So just something to think about. Um, they also have a thing called Destination Boot Camp. And they're, it's going to be at the end of May, and they send people to a John Shallot Institute. And the John Shallot Institute um, promotes how to maybe make your business better and maybe go through some exercises. I understand it's a very dynamic thing. They sent about 10 people a year ago. They pick up the entire bill except the transportation to get to Denver. Um, but the hotels and food, everything else is taken care of. So it's so if you know someone in business that wants to do that, they can also get a hold of Justin. He's Justin Bergeron. He seems to be the, the driver of that. And I know the people came back last year were really enthusiastic on changes made. I think that's when the donut people started serving lunch and they just saw different opportunities. And this John Shallot is pretty famous. Actually comes back to Atchison and spends time going in and out of their businesses after the, after the meeting. So, again, if you know somebody in Scott or Effingham or anybody that you know, would like to get involved with that, it's probably geared more to service and retail businesses. But, um, like I said, there's, there's capacity there for people to sign up. Um, there was a discussion about, um, they're talking about, um, there's a conversation about the airport expansion project. I don't think I even understood it all, so I won't even talk about it. The city, guess what? They're thinking about having a strategic planning initiative. They think they need, they have a comprehensive plan, but they think they need to have a more strategic vision. Um, then there's a company called, and I, I'm going to not have the right name, and I might say it wrong, but there's actually a company that's planning to come to Atchison that will hire white-collar workers. And I think they're getting close to entering their agreement with the Bank Atchison for the American Legion building. They'll do a major re remodel of the building. It'll be all white-collar jobs. It'll be paying between seventy and 150000 a year. It's an outsource sales thing, so um, there'll be a training here in Atchison this summer. Um, but what they do is they sell Medicare insurance. And they don't cold call. There's someone pushes, evidently pushes a box somewhere and says they're interested. They try to be on with that customer within 16 seconds. And the salesmen aren't incentivized by upselling. Someone buys $100 a month, someone buys $300 a month. There's no difference in the kind of pay that they would get. But it's obviously a commission type situation. So that, that was there. This morning I attended the solid waste meeting. And they presented the building. Uh, that We, that Swab Eaton had, had proposed, and there were between 490,000 and 690,000. A lot of t conversation around that. I don't think anybody was ready to say we need to have it right now. Right? But I think they talked about having a strategic plan looking forward for all of Like they were mentioned, the building is 25 years old. Maybe there needs to be um, a situation where. Um, We have a some kind of building fund. Currently, they have a a cash balance of about four hundred thirty-five thousand. I think you guys saw it at the last meeting, and that's primarily because they have a surplus between the revenue side and the expense side. And I think the committee today is recommending that we have two hundred thousand dollars 
in our emergency fund, which I don't remember the name of the fund now. Capital outlay? Yeah. But with that capital outlay, it's something to do with maintenance slash, okay, I don't remember the number, the 160 fund or something. But that, that balance of that, next year we may be able to journal over into a capital outlay plan, and then we could take some of those surpluses and wash it in there. So eventually we'd be willing funds to build this building or someone mentioned the skin out there and the building's 25 years old. Maybe it, I mean, I don't know what, what kind of condition any of the facilities are there, but if we don't have a strategy to look forward, and I, there was quite a bit of conversation about that. Uh, we did appoint uh, Stacy to the Winsett Sales Tax Committee. Um, so that's pretty much what I've been doing this week is those two meetings. And I have a joint communication meeting tomorrow at 3 o'clock at City Hall. I have nothing, Mr. Chairman. Okay, I had a uh, NEK multi-county health meeting last night. I uh, met in Hiawatha. Uh, basically, uh, we're doing some reconfiguring of the uh, command structure, but uh, kind of with some change in hiring, uh, going to be kind of more geared towards the service end of of the uh, of the health agency. Um, the current staff are picking up some more of the uh, duties, and uh, we're going to hopefully then add. Well, there's already been another full-time nurse hired, which will help on the. Uh, service end of, of our, what we offer. Um, other than that, that's the only meeting I have. Okay, so that's my comment. First thing will be the Bruton Colbert. Project which I presented this morning. Um, for that. Okay. Yeah. So Seth said he was he was up this morning and presented us uh, showed us uh, two bids for uh, say three ten uh, project which is five. Let's see. Replace four tubes and install one extension. Uh, the bids were for Marduk Construction in the amount of $6,040 and Martin Construction in the amount of $7,300. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to go with Marduk and the number of bids to compare and, you know, half and half. I'm okay. sorry. We furnished the material and they just touched the labor. Okay. Is there a start time and uh, approximately finish time? Must be completed within a month. Okay. Yeah, I second that motion. It's been moved and seconded to accept more right. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Pass three zero. <coughs> For each of us, or no, that was really good. Three good. Good. Do you want these, Bill? Yes, please. What you have now is the North Oak contracting for the Husker Steel bridges that we discussed, bridge number 30, 40, and 100. Those are the prices, the package prices for just the bridge structures to be installed. So it'd be Norfolk Steel, or sorry, Husker Steel's material with Norfolk contracting being the contractor through Husker Steel, the package with engineering, all that included for that. Is that a subset area of Husker Steel? Or do you know? I'm not sure how they work all. I'm sure there's something where they're all different. Okay, so we just need to approve 
fees for right, yeah. yeah. We're fine with the price and if so is the price they presented at first. Did you want to see well I looked at but my question was we don't know what the all the eight bridges is gonna cost, but these are the less expensive bridges. Mm -hmm. And if we approve them and then the other ones come in higher, would we uh, pick one of these to be left out and pick well, one of the bigger ones would be my only question. This would be something where we sign that, they're going to buy the steel, they're going to get moving. The other ones, I would say, they can be designed and have plans, but the bids come in high. We can just cut that last bid and not do the last project of the other three. Uh, they'll still be designed and engineered. We'll have the plans. It's just the next year or something. We have a little bit extra money. We put it back out for bid, and we'll have the numbers. These, once we sign that, they're going to order steel. They're going to get it covered. Well, 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 in my opinion, uh, to me, uh, it looks like we're going backwards. It looks like we should be look at the more expensive bridges, and then if we had to cut something, it'd be logical to cut out a cheaper bridge versus cutting out a. a Expensive we have one to get into on, our budget we on the other have, side. We have like the low water crossing. We can cut that easily, no big deal. That would be the one, the first one I'd cut. The other one would be the small bottom. Well, I mean, I'm all right with it, but that'd be my only question. I think the thing we've got to look at is they could be working on this in 90 days, right? Correct. And I think we got at least a general swag of what these are going to cost. They're not going to be that off that far. Mm -hmm. But again, we could cut out a water crossing. I think we have to start getting it moving. And that's just my opinion, but that's the yeah, like fact that we get something going this year. I like that fact. Yeah. We don't have to make the payment on these until the project is completed and we approve it as presented. So, so then we were kind of all in agreement that we're going to take it out of your some of your funds, and then we get the bond money to replenish the funds at this time. If that's what we if it's, do yeah, that legal. Uh, I think we can figure out how to do it. Yeah, oh, and I'm with Pat's here, and, and uh, we may have to pass a resolution before we get started. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that's something that Pat said that as long as there was no problem with that, as long as the resolution had been passed before. before. Yeah. Okay. So I, I, I'd make a motion to allow the, the chairman to sign a contract for three bridges. One being Atchison County Bridge RS100, Road 326.3 miles west of Decatur. Uh, proposal 18070 for $146,895. And Atchison County Bridge 40, Road 214.5 miles west of Clay. Uh, proposal 1801 for $184,440. And Hatchet County Bridge 30, two, road 214.2 miles west of Clay, proposal 18072 for $184,440. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded to accept the three proposals. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Pass to zero. Now those are the this is me down here fire. Yes. Those are the Acceptance. three bridges that we had the engineer going to draw up dirt work and then we will cut that out. Mm -hmm. Correct. So that's we still have to buy dirt work. Correct. So this is strictly steel and bridge construction. They'll come in, tear the bridge out, and then have it sitting there, and then we contract a dirt contractor. We'll work them together. Where once the bridge is done, they can work together. Do I need to sign both copies? Yes, please. So they'll be moving on this this afternoon. I said I sent a proposal, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna email it back to them and see what they have to say. So, yeah, I think it's a good choice to get it going now. I know steel prices are fluctuating daily, so I uh, <laughs> I'm sure the prices are higher than what they would have been last year, but we can't figure that. So I think it's a good move to get this going. That was one thing that concerned me about road signs is with the steel going up. I don't know what they're going to do on road signs now. So. All you got to do is watch the jumpers and turn away up and go to St. Joe. I see a lot of jumpers. Mm -hmm. So that tells me the jump prices are up. Yeah.
I'm surprised they gave me a bid for an extended time. I know some people that have a good steal and it's like 20 bucks. Well, I want you to submit their mind, so. Because I was flush with so much. Mm -hmm. A lot of that, that probably is. At the end of the food chain, the guy owns both of those. Oscar Steel and North Fork construction. That's fine. Yeah. And I mean, now, you're seeing those, if, if the piling happens, that's good either as a charge or the per foot. Are we going to have anybody overseeing this as far as engineers including their work? That will be up to you all and myself, I guess. If we choose to hire an engineer to go in there and check the plans and inspect the piling being driven and compaction and everything like that. That's totally up to us if we want to do that. Don't you think that we're spending roughly 700000 you mentioned that figure, taxpayers' money, that we need to have somebody make sure that they're building what they said they were going to build and that's correct? Yep, and I'm totally for it. Uh, we just have to select an engineer and give them our scope of work and what we'd like to have inspect or have them uh, give us a recommendation. It's just it's a show. <coughs> it's more well cost to it. But. Well, I think we're going to do it on all of them. So my thought was whoever designed the bridge, but with them, I don't know if Michael would come back down and inspect that or if we need to hire an outside consultant to inspect. So um, that is an option. So the only other thing I had was that uh, CenturyLink agreement. Uh, did I just keep that or did you? I believe you should have it still. Yep. Oh, it was the tube thing that you took back to school. Okay. Didn't we do one of these last week? We did um, one for my project um, last week for one of our projects. This is for something that has nothing to do with any of our projects. Um, it's just something they, they send over when they have large projects going on in our right away. They just kind of want our, okay, that's fine, I want our right away. Has Pat seen this? He was sent to him. So it's the same general thing that we had on our project, it's just in a different location. Um, and we can wait if we need to on Pat, that's fine. I just want to I would feel more comfortable to have Pat look at that. Uh, I hadn't thought of saying something this morning. Okay. That's, um, awesome. um, that's all I have. Uh, what are your uh, crane truck? Hmm? Crane truck? Well, I'm still getting prices from other places. Oh, so right. I'll call around and see if you can get any storage on that. Thirty year bonds at three percent today for the first time in four years. And the interest rates they're going up. Maybe they're changing. I know mortgage rates are going up. I went to the app and I found that out. So um, you to change until you get your project completed. Too. It's at that point, so. Yeah. You get it close. Um, within a week or two. Yeah. yeah. Bond rates are going to probably go up also. Uh, I don't remember what the reason was. The banker tried to tell me. Yeah. Well, the, the, the Robert I rate's been raising. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else for me? That's all I've got. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Here's a for our information only, uh, Maura Chambers was up last week and was talking about K Camp uh, and things that, you know, we got a uh, rebate basically from them. And um, it was brought up about the law enforcement tuition. And this is just saying that we have been credited for, for that. New business before the board. Uh, we have a PO here in the amount of uh, $1,800.07 for our one half of the uh, leadership breakfast that was held on April 13th. I make a motion to add this Second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Pass 3 0.
Bible says she, there's many people who are Well, that's half. Yeah, I know. They had a pretty nice breakfast. Yes. It was a good crowd. Good speaker. Okay, next we have a PO uh, for the uh, Mocan Regional Council. Um, it was a PO for the what was the wording that we used for the uh, if, if we w wish to uh, rejoin Mocan and it would have started in January and the total bill would have been $2,961.71. I would know that we choose, I would know that we do not rejoin Mocan and that we send them a letter maybe his email even today that says that we tend not to rejoin. Um, I said that. It's moved and seconded to not rejoin Mocan. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Pass to zero. And the word, I don't know who's going to write through the letter, but rejoin is a key word. We're not quitting or we're rejoining. Yes. Um, can you draft a letter or who, who should we have or maybe possibly Roger or... Roger would probably get me, I think. Roger had, had, had made a letter for us, drafted a letter for us once before. Mm -hmm. We would probably be able to go along the same lines as that. Just Okay, is it all right if I ask Roger to do it? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. I will touch bases with him. Yes? Yes. Uh -huh. Sure. I'm mainly thinking about the order we went right before how we I'll be in the morning, okay? Okay, thanks. Okay, well. I guess I probably should have answered that. Okay. Very light agenda again today. I'm going to double check, make sure we got everything in the folder addressed. Is there any other business? County councilors absent. We have no county councilor updates or executive session. I have a motion to adjourn at 1.30. I second it, Mr. Chairman. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? That's 3-0. We are adjourned.